How's it going everybody? It's PM Dre from PM Dre Fitness back with another video. So I actually want to thank Chelsea Brooke for tagging me in this fitness tag. I'm going to be answering 11 questions pretty much just talking about fitness and getting you to actually know more information about me and how I feel about it and how my approach is. So um, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So number one, if I never got into bodybuilding slash lifting, what would I be doing? Honestly, like I'd be gaming. I'm a big time gamer. I don't get the game as much as I used to, but I still play here and there. But if I wasn't lifting, like for sure I'd be gaming. Number two, what is my favorite and least favorite body part to work? My favorite body part to work is actually chest. When I was growing up, I used to have a really concave chest, so people would call me bird chest. But now, they don't call me that anymore, man. No more bird chest. My least favorite body part to work, I'd have to say are arms. Like, I do get a lot of compliments. People do say that my arms are really big and they're defined, but I just do not like working them. For some reason, I get really bored. It could be the fact because I've done so many arm exercises throughout the years, it just kind of feels like I'm going through the motions when I do the workout. Number three, okay, what would your last meal on earth be? So if you guys are familiar with West Indian culture, my last meal would be jerk chicken with rice and peas and oxtail gravy. If you haven't tried it, I suggest you try it. Number four, if I had to choose between eating only carbs or only fats, which would I choose? I'd choose carbs. Like there's just so many good things out there that have carbs in them. Whether it's rice, um, sweet potatoes, like just so many good things with carbs in it. Like fats, like just eating fats, like there are some stuff for fats, but like, like come on now, I feel like this carb wins the race. As far as number five, who is your biggest crush, or you know what, who is your crush in the fitness industry? To be honest, I really don't have any crushes in the fitness industry, but I do have a crush on this handsome devil right here. That's right, I know you see me. <laughs> and I say that because I just love myself and I have the utmost confidence in myself. I look at myself in the mirror and I tell myself, hey, you know what? It's a constant improvement. We gotta improve this, we gotta work on that. And when I do see my progress and all the progress I've made throughout the years, it's like there's no better feeling than that. So I have to say I have a crush on myself. Number six, if you had to pick one food to have that has zero calories but still tastes the same for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Um, you know what? I'd have to say pizza. I just love eating pizza. Like right now, I'm probably eat pizza about once a month at the most. So um, it'd be great if I could just eat it and it was zero calories all the time. But you know, that's just how the ball rolls. Um, number seven, would you rather never be allowed to lift again but have your ideal physique or be allowed to lift but work your butt off for your physique? I'd rather work my butt off for my physique because that's what I currently do right now and it's the best feeling in the world. Another thing too, it also keeps me active, it keeps me healthy, it keeps me moving. I work a 9 to 5 job where most of the time I'm sitting on my butt. So the fact that I can go to the gym and be active, lift, get stronger and just build a physique that I like and what I aspire, there's no better feeling than that. All right, so for number eight, what are your short and long-term fitness goals? So as you all know, my short-term goal is to compete. Um, I'm, that's the reason why I'm actually doing my Lean Bulk series. It's just that, you know what, I wanna make sure I go on stage with the best package and I've always wanted to compete it, but always put it off. Always said, yeah, I'll do it this time or do it at that time. Um, so my, it's really important to me that I wanna compete at, like at the minimum within the next two years so I can go on stage and just show all the progress and the gains that I've made. Um, as far as my long-term fitness goals, stay healthy, stay active, just longevity. 
I see a lot of people who are older than me, like 20 years, 30 years, for I can know some people in their 70s that are still working out at my gym. So that's just motivation right there. They're active, they're strong. Um, they're still, they're, they're, like, they're, like they're still in good shape at such an age. And I want that to be for me. So that's my long-term goal is staying fit, staying healthy, and just taking care of my body. Number nine. What is the best thing that has changed about your life since committing to this lifestyle? I'd say the best thing that has changed is my physique. Like I feel like if I would have never started getting into fitness at all, I would not have a good physique. Just because of how my life is and as far as work and again like it just like I wouldn't have the muscles that I have. I wouldn't get the compliments that I get. I wouldn't like again like there's just so many things and so many benefits that come with being fit and getting into weight training and how you could boost your confidence, boost your self-esteem, and also get you prepared in other facets of your life. I've noticed when I started lifting, like I had a confidence boost, yes, but it improved so many parts as far as organization, um, scheduling myself, making sure I make time for things. Like it really gave me a lot of discipline. So I'd have to say that is actually the best thing it has done as far as changing my life. Okay, so what is my favorite thing about competing or fitness in general if I don't compete? I would say my favorite thing is, again, it's just the muscles that come with it. My cat Quincy making a cameo, he's trying to get comfortable, so. <laughs> like, what up, big buddy? What up, you good? All right. All right, so let me finish off that question. So the favorite thing about competing or fitness in general is actually the, the people that you meet, the people that you come across. And also, like I think I've said this over and over again, is just being healthy, being strong, and just looking good. But it's really huge as far as the amount of people that I've met and talking with them and being able to actually build relationships with them, especially even on YouTube. I, I must say, it's a really good feeling. It's like, I wish I would've knew how this environment was earlier because I would've started much earlier but I must say that is my favorite thing like it's just this community the environment the people that you meet filled with a lot of good people number 11 what is your favorite way to get cardio in so I said this in one of my other videos my favorite way to get cardio would have to be doing stairs so I go 40 flights down 40 flights back up and another 40 flights back up this is an amazing type of cardio. You can mix in interval training. You can go at a different pace. You can, there's just so much flexibility that is given to you. And it, let me tell you, like I'm sweating buckets after when I'm finished. So you know what, I think, yeah, you know what? That's actually all the questions. So thank you again, Chelsea Brooke, for putting me in on this fitness tag. Um, check out her channel. She has a lot of good content and the best part I like about her channel is that she keeps it real There's no fakeness whatsoever. So the next two people that I'm gonna be tagging will be Crystal from love fit all her videos are very entertaining She has a lot of workout stuff So as far as five minutes and intervals and so on and she just makes a lot of good content like almost I think like almost every day so like I just admire the hard work. Secondly, I'd like to tag Justin Holland, the blind bodybuilder. Like, this guy is an inspiration. The way how he's organized his channel and the way how he's kind of said, you know what, drawbacks, setbacks, obstacles, they're nothing to me. There's something that I want to do and he's actually going to be competing and I have so much respect for that. He's like, he doesn't make any of his shortcomings get in the way of his goals. So again, the two people I'm tagging, Love Fit All with Crystal and Justin Holland, the blind bodybuilder. So I'm tagging you guys and I will be letting you know as well. So you know what we do here on the PM Dre Fitness Channel. Don't forget to share, that's right. Tell everybody that I don't know, that you know, that you watch my channel. Like, that's right, like, comment, and subscribe that's right if you like this video and you want to see more then subscribe to my channel and I'll catch y'all later